Jesus' birthday. That's right. Happy birthday, Jesus. And you are in for a treat today. We have the kids' Christmas play coming up. It's going to be great. And um, if you are new here, we'd like for you to fill out a connection card. Um, we have a lot of good things going on here at South Point. We love Christmas and we love giving. So we took this time to give away some coats to the kids actually right across the street at Beard Elementary School. So um, we're going to cut to Mr. Jamal B. Spurgeon. I think he might be related to me, but uh, <laughs> I think this is John Spurgeon D's brother, half brother. You'll see what I'm talking about. Thanks, Lee. Like he said, this is Jamal. Getting ready to start doing some coat giving out up in this piece. Look here. One thing about Jamal, I don't do cold, and I know these kids don't do cold. So here we go. We got them loading up right now. Let's do this thing. Follow me. Hey, this is Pastor Jerry down here at Beard Elementary School with the principal uh, Steven Morgan. This is Steven Morgan. And uh, we, we have thank you so much, South Point, for what you've done and how you have brought these coats to these children here for Christmas. And we just want to introduce you to her, and uh, we just want to thank you uh, for letting us be able to serve. You no, know, we appreciate you and appreciate your church. Uh, every morning I stand outside and I greet children, and it is very heartbreaking when I see kids, when the temperatures are getting cold, truly not have a coat or a jacket. And I'm constantly saying, where's your jacket, where's your coat? And they say they don't have one. Well, within the next couple days, you come to me and say, listen, we're thinking about doing this project with coats. Will it work for you? And it was just amazing timing. And so I was able to ask teachers who they felt needed coats. I was able to give names because I greet them every single morning. And it's really nice knowing that for the Christmas holidays, these kids that are in much need will be able to have a coat because of your church. And we truly appreciate you. Well, it's been a blessing to us. And we yeah. thank you. And we thank you, South Point, for doing your part to help people in need. So God bless you and have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. But anyhow, we are going to be having an awesome lock-in for the youth group December 31st to bring in the new year. We're also going to be revealing the new plan and the new vision for the youth group, which will be awesome. We plan on taking the youth group to the next level. And um, we just really want you, if you have a, a, a teenager from 13 to 18, we want you to invite them. And um, they'll really enjoy this. What do you say, Chris? Definitely. This guy and his wife, Ebony, they are great. And your kid is definitely going to need to be here. Now it's time for us to cut to commercial. Roll it, Cody. Hey there, South Point. I'm B Money. And I'm Little Sense. Hey, and we're here with a very special Christmas melody for you. That's right. We are going to sing. How many songs are we going to sing today? Well, you know, every year, people all over the world celebrate Christmas by singing jingles. And we thought we would try and sing you 25 jingles in the next two minutes. That's right. 25 jingles in the next two minutes. Let's do it in under two minutes. In under two minutes. Cool. We're even going to have a nifty little counter. Just hear those sleigh bells ringing and jing jing jingling. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Joy to the world. It's beginning to look a lot like Grandma got ran over by Good King Wenceslas Lost. Sweets of a bells, all in the sheep as a wee Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to young and old, meek and up dismay. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day, was my dream came to me. A partridge in a pear, they told me it came upon a midnight clear. And do you hear what I hear? Do you hear voices in your head too? No. What? In the meadow we can build a snowman. Frosty the snowman. Up on the housetop, click, click, click. Down through the chimney with Johnny Old St. Nicholas. Lean your ear this way. Johnny wants a pair of skates. Hey. Out off the red nose ring of a Had a very shiny Christmas. Nose. It's Christmas time in the city. Let it snow, let it snow. Have a holly jolly Christmas. 
Christmas. It's the best time of the year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a one horse. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. And now it's time for the big scoop. Pastor Jerry, tell him something special. South Point. It's the biggest scoop ever. You know, we have throughout the year we've done a lot of great things because we right now have seen this church grow and you have grown spiritually and matured and have done your part in building the kingdom of God here but it's time for us as we have built a foundation it's time for us now to push forward and, and begin to grow in, in many different areas of our lives and in this church and so right now South Point we are at a decision time a decision time for you personally a decision time for this church if we're going to push forward and see great things for God. This, this January, we're coming out with a new series called 3D. And actually, we're doing a revolutionary new series that's going to really just blow your mind. Because when you come in, you're going to be putting on 3D glasses. And we're going to do a great thing. But it is all to push you and each one of us to reach out this year to evangelize like we never have before. And so I want to encourage you, South Point, I want to encourage you to do your part for the kingdom of God. This year is decision time. And that concludes another edition of the South Point Scoop. I'm Carissa. And I'm Lee. Make sure that you have a very, very Merry Christmas, and we'll see you next week where we celebrate, connect, and contribute.